What's up guys, welcome to another episode of Gamer Logic. I'm Mike Murtis and today we're reviewing a Genesis game and that game is Contra Hardcore. Now being a Super Nintendo kid, um, I didn't have many opportunities to play a lot of Genesis games but every once in a while, either a friend of ours or one of my dad's friends, we would swap systems. So someone would borrow the Super Nintendo and someone would borrow the Genesis. And uh, anytime we got the Genesis, we went on a renting spree and uh, we picked up a couple decent games while we had the Genesis. And Contra Hardcore was one of them, along with Castlevania Bloodlines. Uh, Konami did put out some fairly decent games on the Genesis system. And one other thing I want to point out is this is yet another company I'm reading that back in the 90s, they were based in Illinois. This one is based in Buffalo Grove, Illinois. There were so many offices, video game offices, back in the 90s that were based out of Illinois. It was crazy. Capcom was based out of there. Of course, we had Midway, Bally, Konami, Blue Byte Software. There were so many based around Illinois that it, it kind of makes me sad because if they were still open now, you know I'd be taking that camera and just completely trying to get interviews and stuff and getting kicked out and all that good stuff. But anyways, back with the review. Contra Hardcore is a excellent, excellent 2D side-scrolling shooter. Now, there have been many other Contra games on various platforms, but uh, having played through this again, I can probably say that this may be my favorite Contra game next to the original. Um, the vast amount of things that you can do that they apply to this game this is very cool. For example, you have multiple characters you can choose from. And each character has his own special ability, different weapons, different sizes, traits. Some can double jump, some can do certain things way different than other characters. So when you're playing it on a two-player mode, it just makes it really interesting. Better than your carbon copy two-player Arnold Schwarzenegger commando lookalikes. I chose the uh, Arnold Schwarzenegger commando lookalike. Uh, or at least in terms of playability I did, because uh, I just love that old school Contra feel. So as you'll see through the video here, I played as kind of the default Contra guy rather than the variety of other characters. The story of this game is it takes place a couple of years after Contra the Alien Wars, which was on Super NES. And uh, this robot just kind of goes crazy and is wrecking havoc across the city, and uh, your commander sends you in to stop it. Well, as it turns out, this robot is just a ploy for something else that's going on. This group, this military group, is trying to take a sample of uh, the alien that was defeated in Contra the Alien Wars and use it for their own means and kind of destroy the world. So, you are basically at the end of the game, pretty much have to stop whoever is in charge of making this uh, alien thing go out and destroy the world. You know, another cool thing about this is the fact that uh, there's branching paths in the game. So there's replayability in this game, and that's not to say that there isn't replayability in the original Contra game, but this you can actually play different story modes, um, different stages that will affect the story at the end. So for example, the first boss you fight uh, flees, and you can either go after him, or you can go rescue this laboratory and the scientist. I chose in the review to go after the uh, laboratory and try to rescue that rather than trying to fight the uh, guy taking off on the jetpack, but it changes your story completely. Um, another couple of different elements that you can do is at one point you're surrounded by enemies and uh, you can either surrender or fight to the death. That'll change your story as well. Um, even at the end where you're fighting the commander, he'll say, you know, I've been looking for someone strong like you for a long time. God, that sounds bad. Um, you can either join him, or you can uh, fight him, of course, and that'll change the storyline as well. So there's different endings and different uh, plot elements that make the game worth doing a couple playthroughs. The sound is great in this game. They did a terrific job with the explosions. The music is upbeat and awesome. And uh, control-wise, it plays really well. It takes use of three buttons or six buttons, depending on what configuration you're using. And uh, overall, it's just a fantastic game, and if you've never played it, I definitely recommend hunting it down, getting it on Wii uh, Virtual Console, I believe it's on there, as well as emulation. It's pretty easy to find. Uh, Price-wise, it can go anywhere from 20 to 60 bucks, depending on what condition you have it in. This is my official retail copy. I actually have a demo card of it, or a uh, production card that was used when they were testing the game out to reviewers, which is kind of neat. But, uh, yeah, overall, it is an excellent game, probably one of my favorite Contras, and I give it a 5 out of 5. Go seek this one out. This has been another episode of Gamer Logic. Make sure you comment, rate, subscribe, like, blah, 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 blah. Take it easy, folks.